fantasy has become reality for millions of sports fans. The fantasy sports industry says it'll bring in an estimated $1.4 billion this year. The most popular game by far, football. Last year, 72% of all fantasy players managed an NFL roster online, paying the associated fees. Market research firm Ibis World forecasts a 7.3% jump in annual growth over the next five years. It's a crowded playing field. 281 companies host fantasy leagues. Yahoo Sports is the leader. ESPN and CBS Sports close behind, drawing traffic from their TV audience. It seems the sites benefit from the competition. Okay, team, consider this. 7% of users look at just one site for their research. Look at this, 44%. They look at four or five different sites to research their teams. And 30% look at six sites or more. All those eyeballs mean more advertising revenue. So who is playing fantasy football? The average team owner is a 34-year-old male, has a college or advanced degree, devotes more than eight hours a week to fantasy sports, and he spends $111 per year on his leagues. ESPN is playing right into that audience. Tom, you're in the league. Yeah. Bill, you're insane. Hey, but watch out, guys. The ladies are signing up as well, and the NFL knows it. Touchdown, Matt Ryan. Yeah, but straight to Julio. One in five fantasy managers, female. That has increased steadily over the past five years, and it's one of the main reasons experts say this fantasy won't go away anytime soon. Christine Romans, CNN, New York.